definitely got to be careful because we're getting into some thicker trees and some of them are still uh, on fire and the bottom's all messed up. We literally can die out here farting around doing this. Holy crap. Well, a howdy doody, everybody. Look at this desolate freaking nonsense. If you guys follow the videos and you've seen that YouTube short, this place was on fire, like raging on fire not too long ago. It is still smoldering on fire. So I figured we'd come out here, check it out, do our best, maybe take some pictures and stuff. Like, I'm not quite sure exactly what happened here, but I think uh, more than likely homeless camps or something. We got this place all burnt down, but let's fart around, take a few pictures, and just uh, have a good time and collect some dust. Yeah, you can feel the radiant heat over here. Oh, yeah, she's completely going and flowing. It feels like really extremely hot. Just gotta be very careful. Holy crap. Oh my god, did I even get that? Holy crap, holy. Man, we gotta be freaking extremely careful. That was. Um, I'm staying away from trees. That was freaking insane. Holy crap, I gotta get look back and see if we can even. Whoa. Wow, man. Oh, there's sinkholes in there. Holy crap. That's freaking insane. Yeah, so let's go by these trees. Stay away from them. That was nuts. That was freaking nuts. Oh. Holy crap. That tree's gonna be the next one to go that's doing that. It's in, flyer's working its way up it, still smoldering. That's the tree that just fell. Holy crap. Yeah, we're staying out of the freaking. Wow. Homeless camps over here. There's a guy pitched under the bridge there. There's a bunch more over there. I mean, this used to be all weeds and stuff. Crazy, there's a bald eagle. He's not bald. He's got some hair. He knows how to use real game. But man, holy crap, that was freaking crazy. None of these other trees are like that, are they? These trees are going to smolder and freaking burn forever. That was freaking nuts. Holy crap. You know, the thing just snapped off like that. Alright, well, I'm going to stay out here in the wide open. This tree over here is going to go soon. We're just gonna fart around and kind of explore. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's tragic at the same time. But it's good to get all this crap out of here because people can't really be hiding back here. But, man, that tree falling kind of got me a little rattled. <laughs> Never know till you go. Let's not get pancaked. Some of you guys might remember these sets of woods. I mean, you guys see me come down that bridge or under that bridge multiple times. We did the four-wheeler camp out here. Um, 
bunch of numerous camps out here trying to fish. And one video of super dense brush. And that was this stuff. It's the old tire tracks right here. Fire marshal or something to get back in here. This is interesting, man. I know, it's just a burnt set of woods. But this town doesn't have anything exciting besides a bunch of crazy people and drug addicts and that's about it. Once there's a brush fire, it's about the most excitement we get. Tell you what, this wind ain't helping the situation. That one just snapped off not too long ago. Everywhere you step, almost thought my shoes are melting. <laughs> I don't know. We got some dogs and people over here. That tree's gonna go. Interesting. Shells, as this all was river bottom at one point once everything flooded that tree over there I think that thing's getting ready to snap off that wind picking up is kind of uh, getting it flared up over there I hear it's kind of somewhat creaking and popping it's got a little bit left in her a big old branch. Now look at that. The roots are going to be smoldering for ever. This thing's going to burn for so long. Holy crap. Well, let's grab a piece of bark. Now we got a seat. Wait and watch the movie. Well, judging by that bottom half, I mean, that's probably been burning for like, I don't know, what, four days? Four or five days now? And I don't even know if that's going to get completely through there. It might go out like the bottom did. I think the bottom's completely out. I'm still standing up there, but that spot is up high enough off the ground. The wind is still blasting that, so I don't know. She may come crashing down. But we might not be around. He's pulled up some bark. I'm barking on an end journey. I don't know if we got that kind of tame. Anyway, yeah, that's crazy. Cool beans. Shouldn't be getting anywhere near this thing, but I kind of want to check out the other side of it. It's leaning that way, so that's a plus. We just run backwards. I mean, it's it's getting there. That thing's about ready to go. That's just crazy. It doesn't look like the fire got really too much farther past that little ridge line there. It's just like a straight shot, which is kind of weird. But I guess it is what it is. Well, uh, I was going to sit and wait for nature to take its course on that. I'm trying to stay in the open. <laughs> but we got a, looks like a pretty good little fire going on over here. This is crazy. Here's a perfect example of some roots. 
I mean, it's still hot in there. Now those roots go for ever. So, and who knows how long, like I said earlier, how long this is gonna be on fire. I mean, it's surrounded by sand, but crazy. Another tree that fell. You can tell by all the branches that are splattered everywhere. Another set of roots. Yep, still got heat to them. I mean, if you're walking around here and even fall into a sandy root pit or something, hopefully it's not super deep. And if it's on fire, you'll burn yourself. Man, that'd be a terrible way to go. You gotta watch these freaking trees. They're everywhere. You're in a forest, of course. This is still a dangerous situation. We got five to 10 mile an hour winds and then tomorrow we're supposed to have like 20 to 30 mile an hour wind. So everything is kicking up. Like see this thick smoke over here. That's ready to start rip roaring. Those woods, I mean, are right there that ain't even burnt yet. Those could potentially kick off next. You know, it's probably stupid, but you know, this is just wild. This is crazy. I guess the only really good thing about this fire is it does get all these uh all the squatters in these woods out and uh i mean eventually they'll be back they always come back um yeah it's just i don't know crazy to see captain hook well i didn't think i mean look at that I didn't think the fire really got into there that far, but some of these trees are scorched. I just think this whole corner over here didn't get hit uh, just yet. But with these high winds coming in, all this stuff is gonna pick back up probably tomorrow. Yeah, it's crazy. Ain't the greatest stuff to be breathing in either, guys. But. Holy crap, I mean, we just have to get out here and check it out. Why not? Interesting. I'd like to stick around and watch that freaking tree go, but who knows when the heck that thing's gonna go. Crazy. Wild world we live in here. I mean, definitely gotta be careful, because we're getting into some thicker trees, and some of them are still uh, on fire, and the bottom's all messed up. You know, we could die. We literally can die out here farting around doing this if we ain't paying attention. We just want to see some stuff. Take some pictures. Yeah. I'm going, I'm walking right under where these guys are freaking leaning too, so. gonna no longer chance my luck around here you hear the tree snapping yeah I think I'm no longer gonna trance my luck around here and uh, make my way back up to the dike and then head out of here I just nature run its course around here I guess and 
and uh, hopefully we'll be back down here, check it out again, and uh, maybe get a camp out. I know some of you have been waiting for that, so yeah, we'll get back on the old camping wagon shortly. But thanks for coming along, checking out the goofy shenanigans, guys. Something new, something to do. Catch you guys later. Bye bye. Picking up. Holy moly. Yep, this stuff's getting ready to take off. I think we're getting out of here. <laughs> okay, now, bye bye.